Hello YouTube. This is Tammy Pie and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be uh, Top Tarot Trumps by Masha from Musings by Masha. And we are doing The Hanged Man. And I'm starting here with Desert Illuminations uh, by Lindsay B. Williams. I'm sorry, Lindsay D. Williams. And um, this is uh, kind of a Southwestern themed, very kind of um, cool, colorful, hand painted. She is a um, an acrylic painter, and it's just it's simple, right? This is a hanged man. Um, here we have from the fifth edition of the Alchemical Tarot by Robert M. Place. This is The Hanged Man and I believe the, um, the Alchemical, um, the Alchemical Process described in this one is, um, something about actually hanging something up over heat. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Calcination in which the matter or body of work is suspended over fire or corrosive agent and reduced to white ash. Pretty cool. Uh, we have the, let's see, what can I point with? What a piece of incense. All right. We have the coins falling down. So as far as the, um, the Abrahamic myth, of course, Judas, Judas was the ultimate trader and he was paid in silver coins, right? And, uh, we have the snake holding him up instead of a rope. And the snake is a symbol of renewal. Okay. So that is alchemical tarot. Here we have a picture which I mistaked for Jesus. It is actually Saint Sebastian. And well, all saints are, um, they end up being killed for their belief, right? That's the touchstone tarot, and that's the, the out of print. Um, what is this one called? I forget. Anyway. Okay. Moving on. Yonasa Yaosis. This is the fourth edition, which was called the last edition before she started printing them again. I'm about to get the green one, which I'm pretty stoked about. Uh... Okay, so here we have the hanged man, no man. And um, actually, you see this every once in a while where it's the, uh, the chrysalis, right? The caterpillar um, instinctively builds the chrysalis, sits in there, actually melts down, and then his cells remember how to rebuild the butterfly. Then, for a moment, he's very susceptible to just being blown away or squashed or eaten because before these wings dry, that moth can't fly. It can't go anywhere. It's still wet, right? Very good as the hanged man. Also, these little, um, they Jerusalem tears or... I forget what they're called. Okay, so let's move on to, this is M.M. Moline's um, <sighs> Tabula Mundi, sorry, Arcanus Colorum. And this is uh, Odin, right? So Odin, um, 
is hung by the world tree. He um, is dipped into this pool of knowledge. The, his eye is sacrificed so that he might have knowledge, which he then passes on to man, right? So a sacrifice uh, for the means of um, furthering knowledge. Was it worth it? Well, hopefully. And then this, uh, this dragon eye here is the kind of like the, um, the all seeing eye, right? And here's your snake. Okay. Here we have from the Marielle. Oh, this gorgeous hangman. We have the crossed arms. He has a uh, stigmata here. So this actually could be Jesus and the sacrifice. Um, we have wisteria here. And this uh, branch is kind of shaped in the shape of a snake. I, I really like this one. This one shows how watery the hangman is. The hangman is... Um, the base element of water. And this is, I just love these colors. Gorgeous blue, green, and uh, even the red down here makes it pop, right? Okay. Um, let's, a little bit of modern input here. This is Julia Jeffries' Witch Sister Tarot. And this is initiation. Again, there is an element of sacrifice in initiation because once you know, you're forever changed. So she goes in as one person, but comes out as a different creature, right? Because of her knowledge and her belonging to that group. All right. I want to look at the Thoth tarot for just a second. And if you think for a minute uh, about the, um, the tree of life. Okay, here we have snakes both in the, the bottom and the top. He's hanging from an onk. Um, the feet are in that... Um, the uh, the the bad guy repose the um, what did Masha say about the the graffiti the ancient paintings that were done to uh, shame people for being traitors or outlaws right but this guy he barely even has a face he is looking calmer, more in repose. This um, outside here feels very much like um, the web. It feels like this sacrifice, which is a cross over the uh, triangle of water, okay? The, um, that sitting up triangle, which means the element of water, but his sacrifice is great to him, but it also makes a difference to everything else around him. Okay. Also so watery. The colors will remind you of the queen of cups, water of water. And the High Priestess, also a very kind of watery image. Okay, so that is my top tarot trumps for The Hanged Man, Key 12. And thank you for coming.